Okay, welcome back. Um, let's call this part two. We're going to clutch lever this time. The clutch is an interesting one. There's just a couple of little bits of information you might need about setting the tension of the clutch. This particular one's too tight. Um, it's been set too tight by whoever had the bike before. So we're going to take the same one, take the clutch lever off, put the new billet adjustable one on, and set the adjustment. So there we go. Let's have a look. Coming quick. So again, you've got this lever pin. We took the mirror out of the way already. You've got this little thing be bob underneath, which is just a circlip. Again, little tiny circlip. Put a screwdriver under one tab, another little one under another, and just lever it out. There we go. And it's such a tiny circlip, you do it with your fingers. All right, that's it. You can just work a knack on that. But as you can see, these sort of things just work out for yourself. It's not difficult. Push the pin out, that's your main pin. Now before we actually remove the lever, that's not going anywhere because it's held in by this. We need to take that back to front. So that brings us down to here. All we need to do is adjust the bottle screw. So there's a clip here that holds all your cableage and so on on. There's another one down there. Just pull them off by hand, that's all they are. And here you've got your clutch cable. Okay, so lift that up because it's bigger at the bottom than at the top. And there's your adjust the bottle screw there. You need for this a half inch and a 9 16 open end spanner. Okay, undo. The jam nut or lock nut. Once that's undone, take the jam nut right up out of the way because you want to take all of the slack of the cable. Bring that thread and close it. And what you've done is shorten. This shortens the length of the outer part of the cable. And as you shorten the length, you effectively make the inner core longer compared to the outer casing. So watering that right. Now what that does up here, that then produces slack like so. So then you can bring this out here and out comes your lever. That's simple as that. And then that lever will come. You've got a plastic wrist pin or drop pin and that comes clean out. So we're going to store that pin in there. All right, we won't. We'll put it over here. <laughs> change of plan. And that's ready to change. Simple as that. Now before we do anything, you see on the back of this, <clears throat> So I'm talking about this, you know your Japanese bikes, you know you get this business on your old 1980s Jap bikes where the levers got all raggedy and there was a lot of welly space around in there. Now the reason that Harley ones don't, if they've got a very clever little doodid in there, is this. If you can see, it's a little plastic thingy bob, which should use a proper screwdriver for it. Might be loose enough to come off. Yep, there it is. Now you just take that screw off and you need to transfer this. Some levers, most levers won't come with this. When you buy your aftermarket lever, it won't come with that. But you need that because it's a packer, if you like. That curvature there just fills the space between the lever and there. Now that is plastic. Therefore, it doesn't wear against the aluminium because plastic is softer than aluminium. So therefore, your clamp here won't wear out and rather cleverly I have to get an allen key because I put that back in when I took it off the other bike I can put that on so just bear with me a sec All right, it's a little metric doodah about four mil tiny little thing typically this is a nicer finish it's a nice metric stainless machine bolt and all that does is screws on there so if you buy an aftermarket lever, very often little things like this won't come as part of the, the lever. You'll just have to transfer it from the standard part. And it's a common sense job. I can't tell you what's going to work or how to do it. That's it. That just goes in that space there. Like I said, the plastic rubs against the aluminium bracket and it prevents any wear. Stops the lever. It doesn't need to be done up too tight because it's wedged in that space. Okay, so to put it back in, plastic pin over the top and through there and that doesn't need uh, any um, clampage or keeping in there because it sits in this gap and it can't move anywhere it's held in the gap again this is plastic so the plastic rubs against the aluminium plastic softer so it doesn't wear it it's a clever piece of technology and I think Harley need to be congratulated for making something that actually is a common sense piece of engineering here for instance this copper this washer here, this kind of um, clamp washer is copper, and again, copper is softer than aluminium, so it does the job in a in a common sense way. Let's just pop that in. There we are. Pop 
pop that in there. And I'm just going to pop the drop pin through. It is as easy as this. Anybody can change levers. I've seen or known of dealers charging top money, proper hourly rate for changing levers. It is as easy as this. Right, now that, this is the interesting bit now. This is setting your, your slack. So get your cable so that it's straight away from here. Get the light on it, mate. On there. On there. That's it. And undo this bottle screw. And as you undo it, you'll see this will come in to its clamp, get itself in there. All right, that's it. Now, the setting according to the manual, according to your Harley Davidson manual, this is your slack. So that when your lever is at rest and it's not being pulled, you need to know there's a bit of slack at the end here so that you aren't actually putting weight on the clutch plates down in the clutch pack. And the measurement is officially three millimeters. This gap here, this gap here needs to be three millimeters. That's what they recommend. That allows for heat expansion um, and contraction of cold weather. I have a little bit less than that. I think two, perhaps a bit less, I don't know. You can always, there we go. If it is so it's tight. So what I tend to do is like that. There we go. Now that there is about three mil. Perhaps a little bit less. And that's set. There we are. That's the the gap you want. No more, no less. Okay, simple as that. Make sure the lever works. And then just adjust this. That's adjusted correctly. So bring your jam nut down. Nut that up. Nice and tight. Again too tight that's good enough drop this down if you're going to ride in bad weather uh and, and i said this in the clutch adjustment video about a year ago if you if you're going to ride in all the weather this little rubber gaiter is not particularly weatherproof so cable tie it top and bottom it's a bit of a challenge to get down if you if you that's it so what you can do is squirt some wd-40 in the top cable tie around there cable tie around there and that'll protect it in the weather but this bike's not going to do too much wet weather use, is it, Pen? Hey? I don't know if I can help it. Right. Clip that one on there. And we're just putting the cables back to bed. And make sure that when you're doing this, you're not pinching anything, you're going to cause anything to chafe or rub, because that will then wear through it and lead to grief. Let's right, put it where it used to be instead of in the new place. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a new and exciting venue for the cable turn. That's it. There we go. That's it. Last job. A little clip. That's it. I'll pop this in. Right on it. Again, this is a little fiddly. But you'll get feel for this sort of thing in the end. Just... Come on, in you go. That's it. She's in place. Job done. And there we are. Clutch lever, done. Whoops. <laughs> Put my water at the time. So that's it. This, again, this kind of thing is the kind of thing that you can do yourself. It really is very, very simple. Your Harley dealer will do it for you, but don't expect them to do it for a favor or because they love you or because you bought it from them. They will charge you an hourly rate and they're a, a frontline mechanic workshop, aren't they? like any main dealer is, and don't expect this sort of thing, a pair of these to be fitted for much less than perhaps 50 pounds, which is ridiculous. How long has it taken? Even watching the videos has only taken probably about 15, 20 minutes. Done, there we are, do it yourself. The old levers, keep them, keep them. We're jolly well chuffed that we did because these levers were on the old bike. And when the new guy bought the bike, he didn't need them. He said they look a bit Japanese. Like he didn't know what he's talking about, he wanted the Harley levers in place. Actually, I think they're German over on, as far as I know. You might correct me, I'm not sure. So there we are. Thanks for tuning in What's the Always Garage. That's how you change clutch and brake levers. The last video in this one on a Harley Davidson Sportster and indeed just about any Harley Davidson these days. Okay, ride safe, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your comments. Read all of them and we'll answer some if we get a chance. See you next time.